to this day Michael Jordan still owes pop artist Bow Wow a pair of Reebok shoes and Duke University shorts. The former child star, who now goes by the name Shad Moss, revealed Jordan's debt to him in a recent appearance on a late-night American television series. His story came unprovoked when asked on the Dessus and Miro show if he had ever gambled with the greatest basketballer of all time, a notorious gambling enthusiast. Jordan's savagery contained within Moss's story can't be described as unprovoked. Moss admits he may have made an error wearing the gear from a rival sports apparel giant one night when he slept over at the house of childhood friend Marcus Jordan, the youngest son of Michael Jordan. The whole ruining could have been avoided if Moss had simply worn a pair of Jordan's Air Jordan Nike shoes. Made famous by the Jumpman logo of the Chicago Bulls legend stretch for the basket pose, it turns out Jordan did not think young Bow Wow, the star of the Like Mike basketball movie, was showing him the proper respect he deserved in his own house when he showed up wearing a pair of Allen Iverson Reebok sneakers and basketball shorts from Duke University the college, basketball giant and rival of Jordan's former University of North Carolina team. It turns out it was a pretty big mistake. Michael Jordan threw away my Allen Iverson sneakers when I was staying over at his house. Me and his son Marcus Jordan, Moss said. Who knows what kind of revenge Jordan has in store for loudmouth basketball buffoon lover. Ball the father of college sensation and potential 2017 NBA draft number. One pick Lonzo Ball has previously declared he would defeat Jordan in a game of only a known basketball and has also declared Jordan never had the marketing appeal his son Lonzo has right now. He ain't no Lonzo Ball, La Bar said of Jordan recently. I'm going to tell you again, did Jordan have his own brand when he came in? New era, called the Ball era. Mr. Ball is in for a shock if he ever crosses paths with his royal heirs at Bow Wow's case, is anything to judge by.